Good evening, folks. This is Darth Ravage 07 coming to you again with another excellent video review. Thanks to the good folks over at Comic Envy. They allowed me to make some payments on this guy, and he finally arrived uh, all full and paid for. So, all I had to do is just pick him up today when he got to the store. It's none other than Earthrise Skylinks. And I just wanted to say this box art is so magnificent. Not to, you know, trying to be a little punny here. Uh, right here we got Ramjet uh, doing his thing. We got Dirge down here. Looking forward to those guys uh, a little bit later. You come over here on the side and we got Thrust speeding through the cosmos to help blast away. If you can see it there on the side. I just, I just think this is absolutely magnificent box art. That's the reason why I want to take a look at the box for about a minute or two here. Come around the back we got the obligatory product shots. Up. It does this, that, and the other, and everything. This is like the one thing that this mode adds compared to G1, and I'm looking very forward to getting into the all four modes. And coming around on this other side is that other magnificent Nemesis Arc, Optimus, Wheeljack, Hound, uh, Trailbreaker, RC Sideswipe. The arc crashing into Earth, Shockwave in his lab. It looks like double dealer, double dealing. Um, Quintesson and Megatron and Unicron. Uh, shame I won't be able to get that guy because he's just way too daggone expensive. But that's okay. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's saying that. I'll probably end up getting the knockoff version whenever, not really a knockoff, but the third party version as we go along. I've seen it out there uh, just recently, some reviews of it. But that's about it for the box art. It took about two minutes of my time here to go through that. I'm gonna get this guy unboxed and we will continue the video review. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe below. Thanks again to all 60 of my subscribers up there. And I really do appreciate you guys subscribing to me. And now to pause and get him into his first of several modes. And this is what you see when you crack open the box here. You got Skylinks' shuttle mode. All strapped in with the heart of Cybertron. Uh, you got the the base and other accessories there and whatnot. And it's got your obligatory instructions and the other piece of the universe map. We're gonna look at this later. Back to the meat and potatoes. Hang on one second. And here's a quick look at the components, uh, totally apart and whatnot. You come with this massive, fully sep separatable uh, blast. Uh, action parts there you got those you got these two you can do these three right here for your thruster fire on the back of the shuttle mode I'll show you that in a minute you got his standard rolling base which rolls really super duper well there's the back end with some other components and whatnot you got his two blasters blending in right there this is the mode that really excites me because I grew up with the space program in the 80s and uh, pretty much watched everything toward the end of the the STS program, uh, there's a lot of space shuttles. Love that they got the NASA logo in and on this right here. This is magnificently painted Skylink's gold and whatnot. It's got the gold Autobot symbols there. It's got the little hatch detailed in here. I might go back through here and get tedious and, and do uh, some fine uh, uh, detailing with a black uh, fine tip and uh, just to help show off all the the great granular details that's visible here to the naked eye. Um, going around the side, back side, like I said, you can take these thruster bits and uh, th put them on there to make it look like he's swooshing off into space. This is by far one of my favorite modes, just hands down because of the 80s there, guys. Uh, we watched many a shuttle launches. We watched two disasters happen in 86, the Challenger disaster, and then in Columbia's reentry disaster in 2003. But I uh, love how, with the names, they got magnificence right here. Up close and personal, that is just magnificent that they did this little touch and uh, put magnificence there. There's the port side uh, hatch and then uh, all the other company and thrusters. Because it's amazing how, you know, not to get too off beat or off track, this is exactly how <laughs> the shuttle program. They go up there and they pretty much park it backwards in orbit. It doesn't ever do this part except for blasting off. So when it gets up there, it's swooshing around at 17,500 miles per hour, upside down and backwards. 
this is how she main primarily goes through orbit i love that we got this landing gear down here on the bottom of this but yeah this is this is how we built this is earth down here and that's how we 200 miles up that's how we built a space station that thing would fly around the earth backwards until it was ready to pitch and roll on and home after those car cargo bay doors closed it's just I, I love this piece just so very 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 much as uh as we go through here um get these two combined together the way the way he's supposed to be for this mode and uh bear with me just a second more so we can get that together thanks again for watching if you like this video please subscribe below uh comment below let me know how i'm doing click that like button if you like this until just give me a second more here thank you again for watching and here is Skylinks in his magnificent combined mode using the blast effects here i couldn't figure out where to fit these other two guys over here but uh i guess i just can't get away from using the swooshable it's just for the play sake and whatnot uh my pitiful sound effects i swear they suck but uh this thing once attached it takes and getting to do to get it there but once it's there it's it's not coming down or off and uh just wanted to show you guys a hole around the world there and then we're going to try to do a top view i don't know if i can get this from the top view a good angle without my hands and everything getting in the way and a bottom view and the blast effects will fall off all right guys so let me get this guy on into to his two individual modes and then we'll combine them again in a moment and uh we will uh, continue on with this uh, quick review. Thanks again for watching. Hang on just a moment. And much like when I was watching the the review a while ago before I even shoot my review, I was just thinking, this is commander class size. And as you can see, we got us to sell our small chicken here. Pterodactyl, space dragon, whatever you want to call. And the Lynx mode itself. Again, uh, I'm gonna do a little quick Spin around with the links first. Let you see all this stuff. I got it sitting in its black line mode for myself. And uh, I just can't believe how flipping awesome. The colors, the, the detail, the whole shebang is on this guy. It's a really, really incredible figure. So glad to have my hands on it now, finally. I uh, never did have the uh, G1 Sky Links. And then, uh, real quick and easily here, I want to spin this guy around. He's gonna bump into the links. It's okay. Just kind of give you a, a look at the all the sides and angles and whatnot. With that said and done, it's time for this to go back into the mode we are very familiar with. For these two, I say they're always better together than apart. Hang on one second. And here is Skylinks in his combined mode, the way we know him for most of G1 and guys I gotta say this not being a master masterpiece withstanding I still think it is a masterpiece figure because I never imagined having this giant beast I mean sitting in the middle of my lair here in my new house and uh just I'm gawking at this guy and all I I, I just completely and totally love this figure um got it got the most mac dad space dragon this side of the universe you know and as far as his uh <laughs> his pledge to perceptor uh you know in that one episode where they're trying to you know find a quintesson to help rebuild optimus's dead body or help you know bring optimus back to life i will not stop flying until the ends of time or the end of the universe to to find a quintesson for optimus okay he's got one more mode that i do want to show off and there's a lot of other uh great video reviews out there guys i suggest you go check them out and uh before you start messing around playing this guy if you're a g1 fan enthusiast you're gonna fall in love with this something hard uh, it was one thing to look at in pictures it was one thing to watch other video reviewers to be reviewing it myself and to have this in hand actually now it's a, it's, a, it's a really bona fide dream come true. So I'm going to pause this one more time. We're going to run a little bit over the 10 minute mark. This guy's huge and he just, being a commander class, he commands this, this attention. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and we're coming up on the 10 minute mark right now. 
And here is Skylinks in his final base former mode. I guess you could call it Cape Icon at this point. Uh, it's a uh, another base to go along with the other bases. It's got all the accompanying attach points to do more bases and whatnot. I'm gonna give it a quick spin around the block here because I'm not seeing a lot of people take and turn the base around just to kind of give you the the sideways view. <laughs> of Cape uh, Icon. He has his own portable Cape Kennedy, you know. He just he's ready to launch anywhere this time around. So uh don't know if there's a whole two separate entities. I think that they're this one and the same. Uh one attacks from the air, one comes from the ground. And uh absolutely do love this Skylynx and his base mode definitely uh because now we got a play feature where you can actually launch the shuttle into outer space. You just withdraw this little flat pad back and pull this back to the side. Close the cargo bay doors. And five, four, three, two, one, blast off. I don't know, I just, I'm a sucker for the shuttle program. I love the space shuttle mode. I love that it has landing gear that pops out on it. Uh, absolutely adore this base and uh, Skylinks and just, just a solid overall package there, folks. Uh, now my only other problem is over here on the icon side of things is where to stick him. <laughs> Tomorrow is the debut of the Transformers Siege on Cybertron and uh, Scorpion will be joining those ranks in the near near future. I just like a couple more payments on him and he'll be coming and joining the rest of the Cons there. So once again, this was uh, the review for Skylinks. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'm sorry this one ran over just a bit. Uh, we're going to cut it off at 12.15. Uh, please like, subscribe, all the other things down below. And see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching.